Alright guys, today we're taking a look at a new variant of the uh, Eurusay ransomware. And this is, in layman's terms, that FBI ransomware, FBI money pack that has been going around for the past probably about six months or so. Anyway, it's pretty simple. It brings up a page saying that they're the FBI and they've locked your computer, blah blah blah. This is a slightly new variant, and it's kind of interesting to look at. It's pretty cool. It's sort of a throwback to the older Scareware, but let's have a look. Anyway, I have already run it, and I have not activated Windows. This is my fault. This is not the malware's fault. I'll activate one day. Don't worry. i run Windows Loader again. Anyway, so that's not supposed to happen, but what is supposed to happen is this. Uh, this is pretty standard. Your computer is starting up and then you get... Oh god, what are we looking at? Oh my. Okay. Let's start from the outside in. So of course we have this big window that blocks everything. We try to run Task Manager. It's not happening. Inside of that we've got a background with... Whoa. Okay, that's highlighting. Alright, we've got what looks like OS 10 kernel panicking. See, you've got your hex there, you've got BSD, Mac OS, kernel version, whatever, Darwin something. So I don't know why they picked Mac when it's clearly on Windows. Hmm. And then inside of that you have this weird looking uh, little title bar saying system failure and buttons that don't do anything. And this is under the label of the FBI, the police, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh yeah, we got the Department of Justice and the anti-piracy warning seal from all those VHS tapes, and and we got a nice warning over here saying that I violated some kind of law. I have been viewing or distributing prohibited pornographic contents, child porno photos, and etc. were found in temp, thus violating whatever. Illegal access has been initiated from your PC. You may be infected with malware. And apparently being infected with malware means you're being negligent and your ass is going to the slammer. Four to nine years. So... How do you get around this? Of course, you buy a money pack card from all these fine establishments for $300. And this is a 50% price hike from the $200 that it was just a few months ago. So I guess they figure, hey, we're getting some money through this. We might as well step it up. And it is saying that all of this computer has... All activities of this computer has been recorded, all of your files are encrypted, don't try to unlock. And it's saying that everything's encrypted. There's nothing encrypted right now. It's just blocking me. And of course we have this big American flag here, but if I had a webcam hooked up, it would be taking a picture through the webcam and using this like a, sort of like a mug shot. So that's all normal, but what's this? Visit your page on FBI.gov. Well, how are they going to do that? So you click the link, and you get a Internet Explorer window saying the FBI, fbi.gov slash wanted slash internet slash status wait slash BBC something or other with a what looks like a backslash over there. And it's saying following mugshot and your personal details have been recorded in connection with offense you committed. And of course it doesn't have a picture, but if there was one, it would be right here. Following data will be used as evidence and prosecution. So yeah, this is some pretty elaborate stuff. It's even making a fake Internet Explorer window, which is pretty impressive. Of course nothing works in it. You can't open a new tab. None of the buttons work, except for close, which closes. So, you know, this is pretty simple stuff, but... It looks pretty nice, I gotta say. They really did a good job with this one. Uh, let's see if we can uh, boot into safe mode and try to remove this. 
So we will reset. Go into safe mode with networking. See what we can do. Oh, well, I guess you can't boot into safe mode. That's kind of annoying, actually. So, if you just saw that, we tried to boot into safe mode with networking, and it immediately rebooted. That's not good. But, can we run Task Manager from here? This would be very interesting if we could. Uh, Control-Alt-Delete. Can't do it. How about Activate Now? Let's buy a new product key online. Now this really right now is cheating. Because most of the time you're not going to be able to uh, invalidate your Windows key or your license file or whatever. But, you know, we're resourceful people. Actually, I'm resourceful people. And I'm going to download software now that I shouldn't be able to download because this program's in the way. Thank you, Microsoft, for making your anti-piracy very, very useful for me. What are we going to get? We're going to get... Uh, let's go with... Hmm. I think R-Kill would be a good start. Don't you? We'll get R-Kill going. Let's, uh... Let's download now. Click here. We will run. Why not? It'll run from temp. Okay, yeah, I didn't really do anything. So let's go ahead and get combo fix and see if that'll work. Combo fix. Combo fix. Don't click on the ad. You know, for a security site, why would they have ads like that? Let's say download now. That's that's not very good. All right, so we will run combo fix.exe. Run. I agree. Whoa. Okay. Cancel. All right. Minimize that. Where's my combo fix? Where is it at? Is it running? I have no idea what happened. Let's try running it again. Hmm, that was very strange. Combo Fix has decided to not run at all. I don't know why. Okay then, Combo Fix has apparently sacrificed itself to allow me to download Malwarebytes. Let's give Chameleon a try again. Because I like a good uh, web installer like this. I hate that you have to press a key to start it. Pain in the ass. Okay, so it is installing. It is updating. That is so fast. So fast. And now it's doing its uh, R-Kill type process. Not really doing anything since everything's already been killed, but hey, why not?
Okay, so while we're waiting, let's just go ahead and open Malware Bytes for real. Uh, we can close this. Let's go ahead and run a full scan. Why not? Let's get that going. And we will check back in when this is completed. Okay, so our scan is completed. It's found its two items. It's found some kind of Trojan. Skype.dat and the executable. So we will remove selected, close that, restart now, and we'll see how it goes. Never mind the activation thing, but what matters is we are back to the desktop and that Trojan or that ransomware is gone. So, thank you very much for watching.